Hello and welcome to the 340 Club. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to uh, use some mental math tricks to find squares of numbers, right? This video will focus on numbers in the 50s, numbers in the 40s, and numbers in the 90s. So let's start with numbers in the 50s. So this is the simplest of the three. It's fairly straightforward. And you can use you can use it anytime. Master it and use it anytime, right? So let's start with 52. The first thing you do is to take the last digits, that's the units digit, and square it, right? So 2 squared is 4. So write it as 0, 4, and you see why soon. Now take the first digit and do the same, right? So 5 squared is 25. Okay, the next thing we'll do is to add the last digits to the 25. So I'm going to add 2 to 25, right? And that's it, we are done. So the 0, 4 now forms the last two digits of the final answer. And 25 plus 2 is 27. And that's the square of 52. So 52 squared is 2704. Let's try another one. So this time 55 squared. Once again, I take the last digit and square it. So that's 25. Take the first digit, square it. 25. Now add the last digit to that square. So 25 plus 5. All right. So now the last two digits will be 25. And the first two will be 25 plus 5. That's 30. So 55 squared is 30, 25. So you can clearly see this is very simple. You can easily master it in a few minutes and start using it. The next is 57 squared, right? So once again, you take seven squared, that's 49. You square five, that's 25. Now add seven to 25, right? So next thing, the last two digits will be 49. The first two will be 25 plus 7, which is 32. So 57 squared is 3249. Right? You can confirm this with the calculator. It's indeed 3249. Final example is 58 squared. So you take 8, you square it, and that's 64. Now you take 5, you square it, that's 25. The next thing we do is to add 8 to 25 and that's all we have done so the last two digits will be 64 and the first will be 25 plus 8 which is 33 right so that's all for numbers in the 50s it's a fairly simple procedure you can master in a few minutes and with this you can find the square of any number in the 50s in less than three seconds right it's that, it's that easy the next thing we look at is numbers in the 40s. But before we continue, make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Right? So now let's continue. So for numbers in the 40s, let's start with 42. Right? So there's a slight difference here. Instead of squaring 2 directly, we rather subtract 2 from 10. And that gives us 8. And it's 8 will square. So you square 8 you get 64, right? So what about the last digit is, you subtract it from 10 and square the result, right? And once again, we take the first digit, we square it, and that is 16, right? And now we'll do something different, right? Instead of adding the last digit directly, we'll subtract one from it first before we add it, right? So there are a few extra steps to this down the numbers in the 50s. But since we are building on it, it's easier to follow now, right? So instead of adding the last digit to the, the square directly, we subtract one from it before we add it, right? So the last two digits as previously will be 64, and the first two will be 17. So the square of 42 is 1764, right? If you, if you rewatch this, you get you get a hand of it easily, right? So let's go to another example. 
this time 44 squared. So what you do once again is subtract 4 from 10 and that's 6. So it is 6 that will square, right? So you square 6, you get 36. And the next one we square 4, as usual, I get 16. Now we subtract 1 from 4 and that's 3. And it's 3 that we add to 16, right? So once again, the last two digits will be 36 and the first two will be 19. So the square of 44 is indeed 1936. Let's take another example, 47. So once again, we we'll square 7 directly. We we'll subtract 7 from 10 and get 3. Then we we'll square 3, and get 9. We we'll write as 0, 9 because we're going to take up two slots, the last two digits. Now we we'll square 4 as usual. Subtract 1 from 7, get 6, add 6 to 16, get 22. So our final answer is 2209. 2209 is indeed the square of 47. Let's take a final example of this. So 49 squared, right? So subtract 9 from 10, get 1. 1 squared is 1, but right side so 0, 1. As usual, square 4, you get 16. Subtract 1 from 9, and that's 8. Now add 8 to 16, right? So our final answer is 0, 1, and 16 plus 8 is 24. So our final answer is 2, 4, 0, 1. So 49 squared is indeed 2, 4, 0, 1. And lastly, you do numbers in the 90s, right? So for numbers in the 90s, it's very similar to numbers in the 40s. So let's start with an example, 92 squared. So just like in the 40s, we won't square 2 directly. We do 10 minus 2, and that gives you an 8. And it's this 8 that we square, and we get 64, right? But here is where it's very different from the other two. 9 squared is um, 80, 81, right? But in this, in this case, we rather subtract a 1 from the 81 and write 80. So even though 9 squared is 81, we'll write 80 instead of 81. And now the next step is we'll take the last digit as a 2, but we'll multiply it by 2 first before we add it to 80. So there's a, there are a few new steps here. When we square the first digit, we subtract 1. So instead of 81, I write 80. And also, before I add the last digit to the first, the, the square of the first digit, I multiply it by 2, right? So that's the only difference here. So once again, the last 2 will be 64, and the first 2 will be the sum of 80 and 4, so 84. So the square of 92 is 8464, right? In a few minutes, you can master this as well, right? The next example will be 94. Once again, we'll square this directly. We will have subtracted from 10, get 6. 6 squared is 36. So you write 36 instead. 9 squared is 81, but you subtract 1 from it, so you write 80 instead. Now you do 4 times 2, and that's 8. So you add 8 to 80. So our final answer will end with 36 and start with 88. So the square of 94 is 88, 36. Another example is 97 squared. Once again, we we'll square this directly. You do 10 minus 7 first, you get 3. And you square 3, you get 0, 9. 9 squared, 80 by subtract 1. 81, you subtract 1 to get 80. And now you do 2 times 7, which is 14. So you add 14 to 80. And now you have 0, 9, and then 94. So the square of 97 is 9409. And see, this is fairly easy to understand, right? Final example is 99 squared. So once again, we we'll square the 9 directly. We do 10 minus 9 first to get a 1. Now you square the 1 to get 0, 1, right? And the first one again, 9 squared minus 1, so 80. And then, then we we'll do 9 times 2, which is. 18, right? So the last two digits of the final answer will be 0, 1, and the first will be 80 plus 18, which is 98.
So the, the product, the square of 99 is 9801. So that's how to find the squares of numbers in the 50s, 40s, and 90s. So you can learn these tricks and use them to work faster in mental math. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Bye.